Hi, welcome to the part three of this playlist. We are looking at real certification questions on GCP data engineer. So please do not forget to click the join button and become a cloud kernel or a cloud ninja member. You will get access to a lot more certification contents. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. It will help you stay tuned to the latest in the cloud certification world, primarily AWS, Google Cloud, and Azure. So let us look at this question. You want to predict housing prices, and you have been just provided a single virtual machine, which is also not a big one. It has resource constraint. What do you mean by resource constraint? That means probably CPU like compute is not enough or RAM is not enough and still you want to predict the housing prices. So which algo you got to use? So one thing you should remember the moment you see neural, the moment you see neural, it needs GPU. It needs lots of resources. So GPU enabled machines are leveraged there and this is a basic documentation on what GPU will help you with. You have an accelerator configuration to help you with this one. You can pause it, read it carefully. See for logistic models, you have logistic regression model. See most of the algorithms, they operate with this constraint. So GPUs are supported for some algorithms, but not all. Okay. So here we are interested in which algorithm will still work without a GPU or a multi GPU machine. Now if I, like I told, uh, neural network requires GPU kind of processing, very expensive. So these two are wrong. These two cannot operate on single virtual machine. The other thing is logic stick classification will not work. We, here when you try to predict house prices, you will have to run a regression and not a classification model. See classification when you want to classify based, for example, a disease, if these five things are true, for example, if the blood pressure is high, and if the cells are malign and uh, if there is a discomfort in the body then this can be moving towards a tumor or a cancer kind of disease that is how you classify things so when you are trying to predict the houses you do not classify that you are trying to predict based on the trends the last trends and various parameters in the market that affects it so this answer would be A and this can still fit in in that small single virtual machine. It will be slow, but it will yield results that you need to predict housing prices. So you are building a new warehouse and not, not the Amazon warehouse, but a data warehouse for your company. And you will use streaming inserts, BigQuery streaming inserts. So whenever you see real time, always think about streaming. Real time, streaming, real time, streaming. So we do not know if the data would be sent once. There can be multiple times sent, but they have unique ID for each row and a timestamp so you have to ensure duplicates are not there when you are curing the data so what query type would you use out of these so you are trying to query the data you want to ensure duplicates are not there the first one is talking about using order by desk on timestamp and limited to one See, an order by would sequence the data, like you can do 
order by ascending or descending so in this case it is descending you can sequence it but it will not remove the duplicates that's why it is wrong now group by what it will do is uh, it would not remove the duplicates group by see if the same unique id you get two rows it will group them and it will apply whatever function you have like sum on the values it will sum it up it will not remove the duplicates it will summarize the duplicates also so this would not work now if you see the lag window function so windows function they will compute the results over a group of rows so lag window will return the value of the value function in the preceding row the before row so if you use lag function with partition by unique where lag is not null so this will this will not help you remove duplicates okay so row number it determines the ordinal number of the current row and where it says row equals one that means this will only pick ones which are unique hence this would be my answer so let us look at the next question see your company you are working in a company which is highly regulated industry okay. what do you mean by highly regulated that means it has to go through so many audits for example if you are working for a bank like bank of america or chase and so on or even if you are working for healthcare company like kaiko so you have to go through some audits and regulations to be adhered now one such requirement is that each individual user should have access to minimum amount of information so this in the cloud world i would like to tell you from a concept perspective in the cloud world this is a standard we do not give a whole lot of access when this guy only needs access to your drawing room if somebody just just needs access to your drawing room do not give that person access to your kitchen bathroom and so on for example if you are working for companies like tcs infosys wipro and so on if you are a visitor you would be given access only to ground floor and not the other floors so that is just based on the need that's all so that is a minimum amount of information you want to enforce this requirement in bigquery what three approaches we will use the first one says you disable rights to certain tables so this is wrong because this option is just like you just remove access to second floor nobody can go so like that they are saying we will disable right to certain tables that means nobody can write it which is wrong right if you want to prevent unauthorized access it doesn't mean that you will uh, remove access from everybody at one point people were totally against aadhar because they thought the data can be misused and uh, uh, there will be no privacy and so on boss you have to start somewhere otherwise you cannot count the population of your country you there are so many other features other benefits that government gives which would become very transparent through that so some someone somewhere has to make that start so that start happened similar to this now b is saying you restrict access to tables by roles which is what we do in in the real world that is how we do there are 10 people two people needs access so remaining it we will not give access how do we do that control we control it through roles administrator role can access all the tables probably uh finance roles can access only finance related tables that way now c is thing ensure the data is encrypted at all times okay so that means i will give access to every tom dick and harry to all the floors you keep your uh, jewelry money safe you lock it so the entire campus will be available for public it is your responsibility to lock your uh, laptops or desktops or any asset so this is crap right this is crap 
this looks very illogical so d says you restrict api access to approved users this is correct because whoever wants to go to second floor they will get access to second floor so only approved users not all so this is correct e says you segregate the data across multiple tables or databases but i have already done that right? i have my teams sitting in various floors so i have already segregated how is that going to provide protection to my information or protection of my data protection of my laptops desktops and so on so that is wrong f says use google stack driver or it logging to determine policy value this is correct because see you have to even if you have uh, given someone access just to the ground floor but you would still want to monitor this guy right what is this guy doing you will still have the cctv service on you will not switch it off you would still have that on it will understand oh what are the activities this guy did how many times he checked out of the office how many times he checked in the office and so on so this would be my answer by the way if you have not subscribed click the subscribe button stay tuned to more informative contents around cloud certifications click the join button become a cloud kernel or cloud ninja you will get additional questions additional information through membership this brings us to the end of part 3 stay tuned we will post more such informative content